Hello friends, I'm so thrilled that you can join the Wiggly Wormy Book Club story time. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe so you never miss a fun reading adventure. Today we're going to visit Flat Stanley. Flat Stanley on Ice. Stanley Lamchop lived with his mother, his father, and his little brother Arthur. Stanley was four feet tall, about a foot wide, and half an inch thick. He had been flat ever since a bulletin board fell on him. Stanley was still discovering new things about being flat. It turned out he was great at catching snowflakes. Stanley was not so great at making snow angels. You're too flat to sink into the snow, said Arthur. Never mind, said Stanley. Let's just head to the skating pond. They saw lots of people they knew out skating. Hi, Arthur. Hi, Stanley, called their friend Martin Tibbs. Coach Bart waved hello. I can't wait to get on the ice, said Arthur, grabbing his skates. Now that Stanley's feet were flat, they didn't fit into skates anymore. But Stanley wondered if he could just use his feet as skates. I hope this works, he said. Stanley stood up on the ice. He pushed off with his left foot, then his right. Whoosh! He took off. Stanley couldn't believe how terrific he was at skating. It was his best flat discovery yet. Look at him spin, said Martin. Did he just carve his name in the ice? Asked Coach Bart. I can make a snow angel, said Arthur. Stanley swooped and glided for hours. Arthur skated too, though he did more sliding and gliding. Phew, I'm hot, said Arthur after a while. He took off his jacket. Me too, said Martin. They weren't the only ones who felt it getting warmer. Coach Bart blew his whistle. Everyone off the ice. No, complained the skaters. I brought hot chocolate, he said. In six seconds, the ice was empty. Except for Stanley, still skating in the middle of the pond. Stanley, yelled Arthur. Stanley, yelled Martin. Out on the ice, Stanley heard his name. Wow, he said, they're cheering. I better put on a good show. Stanley got going fast. He pushed hard off his big toe and did a split in the air. When he landed, there was a loud pop. Stanley looked down. The ice was crackling right before his feet. Help, cried Stanley, help. Arthur shouted back at him. Lie down, Stanley, make a snow angel. Shh, thought Stanley. Was this really the time to tease him about snow angels? So what if he was too flat to sink into the snow? Then Stanley understood. If he lay down on the ice, he would be too flat to sink. Carefully, Stanley spread out. He was safe for now. But how would he get off the ice? Back on shore, Arthur was busy. We need a rope, he, he called. Help me tie the scarves together. The arms of the jackets too. Good thinking, Arthur, said Coach Bart. We're on it, said Martin. All the skaters pitched in. Soon, they had a long rope to toss to Stanley. Stanley caught it on the first try. Pull, Arthur, ordered Arthur. Everyone gave a mighty tuck. Stanley came flying across the ice. Stanley flew a little too well off the ice, past the skaters, and straight into a snowbank. I'm okay, said Stanley, spitting out a mouthful of snow. Coach Bart poured hot chocolate for everyone. He raised his mug. Here's to Arthur Lambchop, who kept his cool when things got warm. Yay, Arthur! Everyone cheered. Stanley cheered loudest of all. And the next time the pond froze, Stanley gave Arthur an extra big thanks by carving thanks, Arthur. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's story. I'm so glad you could read with me. You're an amazing reader. Before you go, be sure to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.